Hello and welcome to the continuation of setting up the pre-flight plan on the MCDU. If you haven't seen the video before this, I highly suggest you to check it out before proceeding to this video. For everyone else, let's begin. The next step is the flight page where we will insert your departure runway, SID if the airport has one, your airways routes, alternate airport airways routes as well, and the arrival airport, type of approach and including its star if it has one. Our departure airport is Luxor Helix, click on the L1 key and you'll see a bunch of options but the main important is the departure so click L1 again and you'll see on the departure page the runways available out of Luxor. There's only two runways 02 and 20, along with the runway length, localizer frequency and departure course. I'll select runway 20 for our departure, Luxor has no SID or standard instrument departure. What you'll do is select plan so you can see where your route takes you. I'll select no SID on the L2 key. Now if you don't want to insert and remove the whole departure setup you can press the L6 key and if you're content with it, you can click the R6. For a visual idea I'll remove it. I'll select it again and press insert this time. Now you'll see 1783 feet. That means once we depart the aircraft will continue to climb all the way to 1783 feet then after that, we're on our own and required to manually select our heading or in reality at this point this is where. ATC would provide to your headings and directions so you can be on course to your destination. You see on the navigation display the green line. That's the direction the plane will travel under managed navigation all the way to 1783 feet then revert to heading mode. Now we'll begin to set up for the arrival airport by clicking the L6 key, then R1 key for the arrival approaches. Now Cairo Heka is a large airport that has multiple runways which means more options to choose from when it comes to the approaches. I'll select runway 23 center. There's no star or standard terminal arrival route in Cairo so we'll select no star. Now we have both the departure and arrival airport set up. The arrival airport has the approach points displayed below the flight plan discontinuity. CI-23C and FF-23C as you can see on the ND. The blue letters mean that it's armed for the moment you decide to do the missed approach or go around. You would follow these points all the way to the holding point which is over the VOR. The blue solid line is the path that will lead you to the VOR holding point once you initiate the missed approach or go around phase. You can fly directly from Luxor to Cairo if you wanted to just for fun in the sim but there are highways in the sky called airways that will lead you from point A to point B. The main reason for these airways is to maintain control and prevent any congestions and an efficient and safe process for traffic to enter and exit the airports. I'll insert these airways starting off with the VOR at Luxor which is Lima X-Ray Romeo and insert it below the flight discontinuity which will appear in yellow and ask you to verify and check that this is what you wanted so I'll insert it using the R6 key. Notice the yellow dotted line which takes you all the way to Cairo, once I click insert it'll turn green which means that now it's active and part of the flight plan. Now to insert the remaining airways I need to click on VOR at Luxor then click on the airways on the R5 key to insert the airways. If we take a look at the ND you'll see the airways taking you from the Luxor VOR all the way to Cairo's VOR which is Charlie Victor Oscar.
I'll select Taba International as our alternate because it has a star. So, notice in the flight plan that both Heka and Taba are in blue, this is your alternate in case you weren't able to land at Cairo. I'll select our NAV-22 for our approach. Now there are three stars at Taba, but we need to make sure to select the most suitable arrival that makes sense. We'll try all three stars to see which one is the best option based on the airways we'll insert. So now I'll include the airways that take you from Cairo to Taba. Notice Manly with the yellow dotted line. Now regarding the star, I think just 1B is the most appropriate method to use as our star. Now we have our flight plan prepared and did our flight plan check to make sure all manually inserted data are correct according to the plan sheet. The next video continues with the secondary flight plan. Thank you for watching.